Good afternoon, Spellman. We're here live reporting from the football field. And I'm your host, David Smalls. And I'm your co-host, Anna Richardson. Today we're interviewing the football team, the Pilots, days before the championship, to get their opinions. Today I'm here with... Ethan Ortiz, uh, halfback and outside linebacker for the Cardinals Bowling Pilots. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Ethan. How are you today? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good. Um, what made you decide to play football in high school? I was bored and I didn't have anything else to do really, but it's really fun. Everybody should play it when they can, if they can. How does it feel knowing this is your last high school championship game? Um, it's invigorating. It's motivating. Uh, you know, it makes me even more prepared to win because we're, we are going to win. We're going to win. So you're versing Kennedy for the championship, correct? Yes, for the second year in a row. How does it feel versing Kennedy again? Well, it feels fulfilling. You know, um, we beat them last year. Uh, lost twice them in the regular season, but you know we're going to win where it counts. That's good. Um, so Kennedy has said before that the reason why you guys won is because they let the guard down. How do you feel knowing that, like they they said this year, they're not going to let the guard down? Kennedy can have whatever guard they want up. We're still going to win. I know, regardless. You heard it here, folks. Are you planning on playing in college? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you planning on going to the NFL? No. Is your position important to the team? Like, you feel it's important? Well, in football, there's 11 people on the field. Each position is equally important. I'm just a part of the part of the team. That's good. Knowing that this is the last game with your friends, with mm. the friends that you've made in high school, how do you feel about that? It's definitely going to be a, a fun experience. You know, one last hurrah with, the, with my brothers, you know. Hey, oh, you that's that. good. <laughs> is there any game that you were proud of yourself and of your fellow teammates? Uh, I think every game we played, everybody put their best foot forward. If I had to pick one, it would probably be homecoming. You know, it was very fun to win in front of the crowd, you know, for Spellman. Yeah, that's what your fellow teammates, Dylan and Chris, said. Yes, yes, Dylan. Well, thank you, Ethan, for getting interviewed here. Thank, thank you, and God bless. <laughs> Thanks. God bless. <laughs> Good morning. We're here reporting from CS1 Studios. Today we will be interviewing two of our star varsity football players, Dylan and Chris. How are you guys? Good, good, good. That's great. Yeah. So, how's the season going? The season going well? Yeah, it's going well. We just won our playoff game, and Sunday, five o'clock, we have the championship game. That's great. So, how did it lead up to this? Um, you know, hard practice. What, what's how? How did you guys get to this um, level? Well, just a lot of hard work, really. I think uh, every day we go practice five days a week, and you know, put it working for about three hours every day. So, you know, play once a week. So, you always try to get a win every week. How do you guys manage being football players and putting that much time in every week and your schoolwork? Like, we're seniors. I could barely manage my clubs and my homework. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough. You just got to, you know, put your head down and just work, go to practice, come home tired and sweaty, shower, eat, get your homework done, study, go to bed, repeat, just yeah, get it done. Tough. Yeah, yeah. Very tough. But that's the life you have to do to be here at Spelman, you know, yeah. especially Sacrifice, as a, a lot yeah. of sacrifices. Especially as a student athlete. Yeah. So how important are your positions on the team? What are your positions and how important are they? So uh, I play outside linebacker and special teams. So basically, as an uh, outside linebacker, if I say a running back comes up in the backfield, I got to my job to go get him before he tries to go score a touchdown. And on special teams, I open up the game. Um, doesn't matter. I always open up the game. I always got to make the first play, so again, it's a no score touchdown. How about you, Chris? Yeah, and I play wide receiver. Uh, you know, run in the routes, go off for the passes, get open for your quarterback, gain yards, block for your running back when you have to. And uh, I also, on defense, I play safety. Uh, I have to make sure I'm behind everyone. Uh, no wide receiver gets behind me on the other team. And just uh, try to stop any long runs. That's great. That's yeah. good. <laughs> so you guys have played football for all four years, I'm assuming. Are you guys planning on continuing this in college and maybe going to the NFL? Uh, I'm not sure about college. It depends on what college I go to. Mm, I understand. I think, uh, I think this is it for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe. If I, if I have the opportunity, I'll do it. Yeah. And out of curiosity, what made you guys just even decide to play football? Like, because I know some people, some people are scared about getting hit, injuries. Yeah. So what made you guys decide to play football in high school? Uh, for me, it was my dad. He played in high school. He was telling me great stories about his teammates and stuff. So I always wanted to have the same experiences that he did. So I was like, oh, let me sign up. And this is one of the best decisions I ever made. Right. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was also my dad, but it was kind of the opposite. 
he played no sports in high school, and that was his biggest regret. And uh, he wanted me to be different. And uh, I played flag football before I came to Spelman. And uh, he wanted me to continue, get to, like the next level of football, which is tackle. That's great. So you already had some type of experience of yeah. playing before high school. Awesome. Yeah, so the championship game is coming up, guys. Are you guys yes. excited? Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel playing against Kennedy again? Especially like both Spellman and Kennedy, I'm yeah, not going to lie, are two big yeah. teams, big rivalries. Um, to be honest, it's really just, I just can't see as another game. You know, if you type it up too much, if you blow it out of proportion, you know, I might lose the what the goal is, is to win the championship. So it doesn't matter who we're facing. So just we got to go out there and win. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How you feel, Chris? Uh, you know, it's definitely going to be tough. We lost to them twice during the regular season. Uh, you know, when when you lose a game, like you kind of replay it in your head and think about, oh, I could have did this differently, I could have did diff right. this differently. But hindsight is twenty twenty, so you just have to not overthink it and just get out there and just try to make as less like try to not make too many mistakes. That's true. Yeah. Uh, we all know that Kenny had let their guard down last year, uh, so they definitely know what we're capable of doing yeah. this year. So they're going to be coming back probably twice as harder. Do you guys think like you're ready? Like, yeah, you're gonna do you guys through? feel like you guys are gonna three times? I got the work. I feel like we put in the work every day, and you know, we beat them once. You know, that's their fault for like that guard down. That's true. And, you know, we took advantage. So we do the same thing again. Just go out there, again, go out there, play our game. We know how they play. They know how we play, and just hopefully we can come out the way. Yeah, that's good. So. In football, you guys make a lot of friends. Like, I know half of the football team because right. we're friends with them. Exactly. Do you guys feel like you've made friends for a lifetime? Like, a close connection? Sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sure. How is that, that bond? Yeah. Sure. Do you feel like the bond that you guys have from sharing, like, playing a sport and being on the field 25-8, like, literally, yeah. I'll leave school late and I'll right. see you guys yeah. with your water bottles just dying on the field? <laughs> yeah, because, like, you know, you're always around each other, so you're gonna have to bond with each other. So I know Chris very well. You know, he knows me very well. We know we even it goes on outside of home, we don't talk about our problems of so life and all that. So I'm very grateful to have him as a friend, you know. And have my teammates. Yeah. 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 And it's great that you can build that bond yeah. Yeah. at the team. A lot of people don't get that. That's true. In high yeah. school. That's very true. Yeah, and definitely sucks. Yeah. You know, you you uh you know like you're just with these kids for such a long time and you joke around, you have your serious moments, you know, obviously like if you're with people for so long, you're gonna have disagreements, but at the end of the day, like those are your brothers and it just brings you closer, especially for people that have been playing for four years. Mm. We've been like going out there, you know, playing this rough sport, mm -hmm. getting hurt. You gotta see like, you gotta see your brothers hurt and then you know, you just got to help him up. Like, uh, Adrian, the senior, broke his leg. That really took a toll on us. And uh, we played for him. And we're going to go out there on Sunday and get a win for him. Shout out to Adrian. Yes, shout out to him and everyone else yeah. who was injured during the season. Hard work takes a lot, you know. Yeah, it takes a lot. It takes a toll on a person yeah, sometimes. Definitely. Now that we're speaking of bonds and friendship, was there ever a time that you guys were happy with yourselves and with others on the team? during a game that you guys, like the way you guys perform? Oh, there's like, like a good performance. Yeah, yeah like a good, course, good course, Especially, you know, like the mom game uh, last week. Oh yeah. And I thought we played really well. Yeah, <laughs> that's just true. That's just true. The yeah, two biggest yeah, schools of Baychester. Yeah, we all Baychester now. Right. Yeah, for me, it was uh, it was the homecoming game. Uh, that, that really, obviously I always have confidence in our team, but that really shocked me because we really, we went out there and we put up a lot of points on them. And yeah, that was a good yeah. Game. very good game. Yeah. Well, now that you guys are at your last year of high school and you guys are varsity players and you know, well, you guys have a lot of knowledge that has been passed down. What's something you wish you could tell your freshman JV self about football or about life in general that you know now? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, uh, I will. I would tell myself to lift more and like, do more. <laughs> stuff. But like other than that, uh, definitely, 
don't get too down on myself because obviously there's going to be kids bigger than you. There's going to be kids faster than you, stronger than you. But, you know, you're put on this earth for a reason. You're in the position you're in for a reason. You know, like stuff adds up. So you just can't get down on yourself. Just do the best you can. And that's all you can ask of yourself. Yeah, that's, that's kind of like the mind of my answer. I was to say, like, I wish I really worked out more because <laughs> uh, the fitness is really important. And I kind of took it for granted. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just don't, you know, I mean, after you lose, I'll let you, let you be so hard on yourself. So, I mean, you know, just go on to the next game. That's really good advice. I feel like that would help. The, literally anybody. Literally, yeah, yeah anybody, anybody in any sport. But yeah. most importantly, like, the freshman and sophomore boys that are still on JV, like, yeah, taking yeah. advice from upperclassmen. Right. As well as that, how is the bond between the two the two teams, between the varsity and the JV? Like, is that like a little brother, big brother bond? Yeah, you know, it's like that, yeah. Yeah, you know, they are, they are like little brothers, basically. You know, we always, we won't go out to the sport, though. We come out to support us, and they're always there for us. You know, we do, you know, practice together. Right. So it's nice. Yeah, you know, that was us, like, yeah. a year or two ago, two years, three years ago. Like, so you, obviously, we mess with them, you know, but... They know that, like deep down, like we, we we got their backs. We look out for them. Mm. Yeah. And that's good. Speaking of underclassmen, how does it feel having underclassmen on a varsity sport? <laughs> like, because I'm not gonna lie, right. when I used to play, and I would see like a little eleven year old <laughs> play my position, I'd be a little mad. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, I, listen, they're there for a reason. Yeah. That's true. You know, I'm more firm believer of whatever helps us win. You know, we gotta do it. Right. So if he's, you know, a freshman or sophomore and he's playing our position, you know, you must be better than us. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're doing, and I'm fine with that. It's competition, and that's what you have to see it as. If you All want right. your spot back, well, go right back. How do you feel about your um, quarterback, Aiden? Do you feel like he's led the team very well this year? Of course. Yes. I mean, Aiden's great, man. I mean, he's a sophomore, and he's right. already been doing the stats. He put it up. He's great. Like, he's a yeah. he's insane. Stuck. Christmas more important than Certified. <laughs> yeah, I play uh, I play baseball with him too. And uh, you know, he's a good kid. He works hard, plays hard. Today I'm here with Jay Sean Byers. Hey Jay Sean, how are you? I'm doing fine and you? I'm good. So what made you decide to play football? Uh, ever since I was younger, I just like the sport. It's just the feeling of getting to hit someone. <laughs> the feeling of getting to hit someone, good. Um so this is your first year playing Spelman football, correct? Yes. How does it feel being on our team? It's a new experience. It's getting and meeting new people and yeah. Are you planning on playing in college? Yes. Are you planning on going to the NFL? No. No. <laughs> Why does everybody keep saying no? Because this NFL is not real it's not realistic. Hmm, understandable. Uh what position do you play? A defensive tackle. Do you feel like your position is important to the team? Like the team wouldn't succeed without you? Definitely. Um, so you're versing Kennedy for the championship, correct? Yes. How do you feel about versing Kennedy? I feel like we're going to beat them. We have a good chance. Our defensive coordinator changed some things around. We're looking good. Um, so Kennedy has said that last year in the championship, I don't know if you saw it, that they let their guard down when versing Spellman. This year, they said they're not going to let their guard down. How does that make you feel? All I got to say is we'll see. I'm here with two of the star football players. Aiden Hanley, period. Jared McPherson. So, what made you guys want to start playing football? Uh, my friends told me it was really fun and they should have to try and I did and I don't look back now. Oh, that's great. That's actually a good thing, you know? It's good to try new things. How about you, Aiden? People just told me I couldn't do it, so then I wanted to prove them wrong and I said I could do it. Yes, yeah, that's what you got to do. You prove these haters wrong, you know? So, as an underclassman, how do you feel playing on the varsity football team? It's nice creating bonds with these special guys. That's actually great. You know, it's always fun to create new bonds and things in that nature. So, how does it feel to be playing Kennedy again for the second time? We're going to beat them. What was that? We're going to beat them. There's no question about it. That's a fact. That's a whole fact. How do you feel? It's going to be difficult, but we, we're going to come to play. We're going to come hard. We're going to... It's not going to be easy, but we're going to come out on top. That's how I feel. Great. Last year they beat us twice, same situation, and we're going to go out and beat them. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, Jared, you actually played on JV. What would you say is the difference between JV and varsity, and what would you tell your JV self about um, the varsity football team? Um, it's, it's a lot different. It's a lot more work. It's a lot more, it's a lot more um, 
It's like it has a lot more toll on your body than JV. Like varsity, that they, they're older guys. They hit harder. They run faster. It's it's a lot different. But just stick with it and just work, and you'll make it. So would you guys say that your work ethic has changed over the past year? I would say. Yes, it has. Yes, definitely, one hundred percent. Wonderful. Hello, Spawn. We're here again with another two of all famous football players. You know. I'm Ethan Butler. And you are? Anthony Sanchez. So guys, how's the how's the year going? Obviously, you guys are going to the championship game. How? What was the success and the way to getting here? I feel like it was a collective team effort, to be honest. And I feel like we had a lot to play for this year. A lot of our teammates that we couldn't have with us kind of acted as an incentive for us to really work our hardest and push to get to the point where we are now. And how do you feel about that? Uh, I feel like we played for each other, like Anthony said, and we worked really hard to get where we're at. Next question is, how did you guys, how do you guys feel about playing against Kennedy for the second time? I mean, honestly, I feel like we're really ready for this. Like I said, this is the second time. I feel like we kind of know what we're going into now, and it's more like a personal thing rather than a talent or a skill thing, because while they are a good team, we're just as good, if not better. And I feel like it's just, you know, bare skill at this point. Who wants it more? What is your opinion on that? Um, I'm excited to play them again because I know we're going to win. So we'll see what happens. So it has kind of been stated that they're not letting their guards down this year as they did last year. So what do you guys say to that statement? I mean, of course, obviously they're not letting their guards down, but we're not just going to underestimate them either. And they can't underestimate us either. So, you know. And how do you feel? I feel like guard down or up, we're still the better team. Now, the question is, how would you guys, what would you guys say about your JV self to now? Like, how did you guys improve over the years? Honestly, I would just say stick to it. Like, there are going to be a lot of times where you just don't think that you can hold out. And you're like, there were a lot of times where I didn't think I was going to make it to this point. But I would just tell my JV self to, like, hold out. Even every time that you can't get your stance right, every time that you miss a tackle, like it's okay. Just work harder that next play to kind of better yourself so that you can get to the point where you are now. Right, right. I feel like from JV to varsity, like you definitely feel faster, stronger, more physical, and that's a lot of things that improve when you go from that one level to that other level. Well, you heard it here, guys. Thank you guys for coming. Time for you guys to get back to your drills back there, all right? Yes, ma'am. All right. So today I'm here with Anthony Bell. Uh, what year level are you in? Sophomore. Is this your first time playing in varsity? Like on the varsity team? Um, I played last year. Oh, how was it? Like continuing playing on varsity? Um, I enjoy it. It's, it's fun to be with new people. Are you sad that the senior boys are leaving? Yeah, I'm going to miss Ethan Ortiz. <laughs> Just Ethan? <laughs> and Dylan, you know, the rest of them. Are you planning, well, since you're a sophomore, like, and next year is your junior year, are you planning on playing like in college? Have you thought about that? No, I haven't really thought about that yet. You guys are going to the championship, correct? Yes. And you guys ever seen Kennedy? Yes. How do you feel about that? Kennedy's a good team. You know, they're going to be tough to beat. But I think we could prevail and we could do it. Because we lost to them twice. And we made a lot of mistakes that we could learn from. And I, f I'm truly, I truly feel we could beat them. That's a common answer. Everyone believes that you guys can be Kennedy. I mean, I believe it too. Um, so Kennedy has said that last year they let their guard down, and that's why Spelman won the championship, and that this year they're not going to let their guard down. Does that, like, scare you, like, knowing that they're coming in a different type of energy? No, because if you're physical with them, you know, they won't do anything. They're going to let their guard down, but if you hit harder and you, you know, you do what you got to do, no mistakes, they're going to the fall. They can't do anything. That's really good. A lot of confidence, I see, which is good to have before a big game. So, since you're a sophomore, do you have any advice for the freshmen or the incoming freshmen that would like to play football? Listen to your coaches and lift weights in the offseason. <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks, from our star football players. The championship game is this Sunday at 5 o'clock at Kennedy Field. You can watch it live on Local Live. Well, there you have it, folks, from our star football players. The championship game is this Sunday at 5 at Kennedy. 
You can watch it live on our YouTube channel, Carlos Spelman Bronx, or on. Again, someone's Are house is on. Me? Someone's house is on fire, guys. Anywho, go watch the game five at Kennedy. Watch it at on our YouTube channel. channel.